Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of you for the views and likes of my first video of your sign. Uh, I'm really grateful for them. You guys were amazing. You guys and ladies, everybody uh, were really amazing. Uh, I'm very, very happy about it. Uh, today I would like us to take a look what kind of energies you can expect in the next month in April from a money, career and finance per perspective. Uh, I have a really, really great reading for you, uh, but let's get to it. Uh, in the center of your reading, you do have uh, the King of Pentacles. The P King of Pentacles uh, uh, represents somebody who is uh, a really good businessman, who is really good at money. It, it's a card of abundance, uh, success. Uh, but let's see what's really going on uh, that's influencing uh, whatever's happening in your life. Uh, so in the first column, you do have the Hierophant, uh, the Eight of Cups and the Knight of, so Knight of uh, or Wands. Uh, so the high priestess, high priest, or the hierophant is 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 really uh, in, indicates success in work. It's an indication of education, tradition, beliefs as well. Uh, while the eight of cups is is really searching for the truth, searching for something uh, that's gonna make us even happier, uh, leaving something behind. Uh, and, and, and you do have uh, the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of uh, Wands is somebody who's very courageous, energetic, a little bit hot-tempered, free spirit. And, and it's an indication of some brave decisions, new businesses, some kind of a new adventure that is really coming into your life. Uh, so what does that mean, real cancer? So, dear cancer, so it, it seems like that... Uh, you've been either learning about something uh, or you've been uh, in, 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 in a certain work, uh, but it's not really making you happy. It's not bad, but, but you're kind of searching for uh, whatever it can make you happier. Uh, you are looking for new opportunities, you're looking for your dreams. And this card, the Eight of Cups, can represent as well that it, you might actually leave something that's stable, something that, that financially uh, safe. Uh, you might leave something behind uh, because you are really want to do something that makes you happy. And it's interesting that you do have the Knight of Wands uh, who's really embarking on a new journey on something that is really excited, very energetic ab about. Uh, one thing that you need to be careful about about, about this card that this uh, can represent somebody who's acting first and planning later. Later, So it might have been that you, you have already started your journey and you just kind of got into, hot-headed into something new that you're really excited about. Uh, but but it's, 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 it's a new journey. It's, it's something that, that uh, will make you happy. But let's see what, what are the other uh, cards and influences. So you do have the Two of Wands. Uh, the King of uh, Pentacles and uh, the Queen of Swords. Uh, so it seems like that F... Uh, okay, so let's go through uh, to them first. So the, the Two of, of Wands is really all about uh, planning. It is uh, looking at a new horizon, looking at what else can you achieve. Again, it's a, it's, it's a person who achieves a lot, but there's way more ahead of them. They really want to get uh, more uh, envisioning their dreams, envisioning their goals. Practically, the world is in their hands. And you do have the world card twice as well. Uh, the King of Pentacles, as I said, it's all about abundance, security, safe, uh, uh, safety, success. Uh, but it can be good reputation, a mentor. And uh, the Queen of Swords is it, it's really uh, all about clarity, honesty, uh, really acting with logic and reason and not with emotions. Uh, it's, it's somebody who's very independent, fair and objective. So 
what this can kind of indicate with the previous cards that you might have gotten into something cotton heavy without any plans and now you're actually sitting down and you're gonna create the plans you're gonna do your research you're gonna do uh you're gonna plan every step you need because you seem to be learning from it so you're kind of going towards this new plan uh, and and it might be that there's somebody who's really wise who's really good uh, from a finance perspective who's going to help you with this plan who's going to give you an advice and this advice can give you clarity whatever you need to execute this plan uh, that will eventually uh, make you happy uh, again in the center is really uh, all, all about abundance and, 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 and financial security so, so this plan is something that's really going to work for you but let's see what is the final outcome. But before that, uh, I'd like to invite you to uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I, I uh, really appreciate it because it's indication that the uh, message has resonated with, with you and it helps uh, the message to get out to other cancers as well. Uh, and it helps me to grow, grow the channel as well. Uh, but I'm very happy to read in the comment section what part resonated with you, what's going on in your life. It's a kind of a confirmation for me that whatever I was able to uh, figure out from the cards has a meaning. Okay, but let's continue. Uh, you do have uh, the Knight of Swords. You do have the uh, Four of Cups and you do have the World card. Uh, so the Knight of Swords is somebody who is really all about getting things done. Uh, very focused, very uh, sometimes impatient, very direct, uh, very, very uh, uh, focused and, and a perfectionist as well. Uh, but, but one thing that, that this card is, is really warning that sometimes it is just so focused of getting things done that, that it can be blind to really look at whatever challenges might come up and then you do have the the four of cups which is which is somebody who is disappointed somebody who is discontent and it can be mean a lack of progress as well um, so what I can kind of see from this that that you know you're gonna get into this uh, new plan once you have the plan uh, ready you're you, uh, you're gonna be uh, running with it you're gonna be really focused on getting it done but you might be unaware of certain hurdles that might come to you and and that might discourage you that might uh, get you uh, think that okay you're not progressing uh, but you are actually you just you just need to be uh, a, a little bit uh, more more patient uh, and, and and not necessarily uh, being uh, discouraged uh, uh, by it because you do have the world the world is really about completion achievement fulfillment harmony and 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 it, it's really coming to to that, that that whatever you're starting is gonna be successful it's gonna be very fulfilling uh, once you get to to it uh, she's gonna look back uh, with the plan that oh my god what a great decision I made there you can kind of see as she's celebrating the, the accomplishments. So I, what I'd like to kind of advise you to be patient, uh, make sure that you are uh, making all of your plans. So it's very interesting thing, thing that you learn something or you're leaving this, this, the old beliefs behind, then you're making the plans with somebody and then you're running with it and you're gonna get to your final goal, whatever it is. So, uh, uh, dear Cancer, I'm very excited for you for April. These are really, really great energies. It's really up to you how much you're gonna uh, get out of it. Don't get discouraged by little setbacks that, that you might get. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's, that's really amazing. So I, uh, that's all I have for you and, and hope to see you uh, next.